then multispectral versus hyperspectral. So the one on the left is a typical uh, multispectral configuration where the bands are located on certain fixed discrete locations. The bands are relatively wide and you cannot customize the locations easily, certainly not before the missions. So these are good for some specific applications, but for others, it's not easy to customize them. When you have a hyperspectral data set, it provides you data on all the spectral bands within the range. You get highly accurate, narrow spectral bands. You can use more sophisticated algorithms, hyperspectral algorithms for processing and finding the most interesting locations for the spectral information. So the data for all applications can be found on the spectral range. Uh, when using the AFX multispectral configuration based on the MROIS, we can easily define any number of bands, band locations and bandwidths. So it's very easy to configure and define the most optimal configuration of bands for your specific applications. With the fixed band multispectral, you can easily miss information on some specific locations, but with AFX, you can study it first with the hyperspectral configuration and then set the band of interest to certain location where you really have that information related to your um, application.